Hi guys, sitting here while well, my computer does uh, a few updates. Only nine this time. So, uh, while that's doing that, I think I might have another look at a bargain store project. Picked up this little pack quite a while ago now. I was rather pleased with it because it's a twin pack of these um, torches, the ones that you pump, or the dynamo action as it says here, that you pump to generate the light. Um, and I think I'll take one of them apart and see what I can do with the bits. Plastic casing. That's a magnet in there. Not a particularly strong one. Got a little gear there, that might be handy for something. Some teeth on there that might be handy. Spring. A couple of screws. A couple of bits of plastic. A little metal axle potentially. Another nice gear wheel. Those teeth obviously match those teeth those teeth match those teeth. So I'm beginning to think already I might just make a little electric car, use that on the little electric motor and stick this bit on the axle and just drive a little electric car with it. What else have we got? Right tucked in there. A couple of lenses, a little bit of plastic, a couple of LEDs, and buried in here we got three little button cells. I always think it's a bit of a cheat that um, you think that the torch is being driven by the um, dynamo when in fact most of the time it's just been driven by those button cells. It does work from the dynamo but you don't get very much power out of it. Another little axle. Let's see if we can get this off. Because there is a very fine little coil in there. If I can get it off that might be useful for some other purpose. It just doesn't want to come out easily. I think we might have to resort to that. Okay, so what we've got in there is a coil of wire. So 
Should be able to use that for something. And a nice little switch. And a couple of LEDs if I didn't say that already. So... Oh. And a handy little strap. So I think what we'll do, we'll do the simple bit first. We'll see if we can make a little, little electric car using those gears. Just looking at the other bits that are left there, it might be interesting to make some sort of little... Well, I don't think I'll make a generator because that's breaking a generator to make a generator. Um, but there must be something I can do with that coil and that magnet. So I'll think about that for another project somewhere else. Certainly won't throw those bits away. Right, got one of my faithful motors out of um, a vibrating toothbrush. I think this one. This one I've actually used for other things. I've already um, put a couple of little, little neodymium magnets on the end so that I can actually just connect them to batteries easily. And that shaft just happens to be the right size to go on there. Tiny bit, um, well, it grips like that, but I just think if, with any pressure it'll probably spin, so I might have to put a bit of hot glue just to make sure it doesn't move. There we go. So that gear works. If I just uh, so they mesh together nicely. that to an axle somewhere and make a little car. I'm very tempted to use that as at least part of the body for the car. Not quite sure how, I just like the idea of using it. Alright, had a good rummage through my scrap box. I've got an old bicycle spoke here. That's just about the right thickness. It actually, yeah, again, I'm going to have to put a bit of hot glue on it or something to make it grip. And then figure out how I'm going to attach some wheels. Tempted to use the old CDs again, but not quite sure how we attach something with a big hole like that. So an axle as small as that. So it looks like we might have to stick some milk bottle tops on. Right, I have a slightly different plan for attaching my CDs as wheels. Um, need to be a bit more accurate than usual if I'm going to use gears because they need to mesh neatly. I uh, can't be as loose as I normally am with uh, pulleys and things like that. I have to be pretty accurate. So what I'm going to do is attach clear plastic over the centre of the CD hole. And then using my diagram that I drew a long time ago, which happens to be the right size for a CD, I'll be able to mark exactly where the centre is and drill the right sized hole right in the centre. So that's my theory. We'll see how well it works. Well to be honest, even though I tried extra hard to get my 
holes right in the centre. I don't think they're any more accurate than they would have been if I'd have guessed. So, uh, well, that's what we've got to work with. We'll see see how it goes when we try and connect it all together. Right, now I need to attach the gear wheel to one of these wheels. And this, this plastic it actually seems, it may even have some oil on it or something, it seems a bit greasy. So, I've got a bottle top there, I've cut a hole in, and I'm actually going to push that into it, and then I'm going to glue this to the wheel. So hopefully that will give me the grip. There's the rear axle assembly. Uh, that's an ordinary drinking straw I've used there. That's what I'll actually glue to the bodywork. I'll trim this bicycle spoke off about here somewhere. The chassis, I'm going to use this piece of clear plastic. Just glue that on there. Right, front wheels. Used a bit of clear plastic to go across the middle there, but I've just used milk bottle tops on the back. Ordinary drinking straw and barbecue skewer for the axle. So I'll stick them on in a second. Glue that on the back. Fit the motor. And that'll be it. Back axle glued in place. Electric motor glued in place. And if I just let me magnets make contact. That's actually going at a ridiculous speed. That's going to be far too fast for in my kitchen. But we'll go and try it in a minute. Just one final touch to do. I shall put my pig in the middle. tack to attach the battery so I can get it off again when I want to. I reckon it's time for a test run. Right, we're down in my kitchen for a test run. Up at the far end there, I've stuck some cushions. Because looking at the way it picked up speed when I was just testing it on the bench, it's going to hit the end wall quite hard. I don't want to damage it on my first test run. So, let's see what happens when we connect the battery. <laughs> that works, doesn't it? spin. <laughs> okay, I think we ought to do a summary. Disconnect the battery. Take it back to the other end. Okay, so we made an electric toy car using one of these dynamo lights torches. One of those fellas. 
which normally you do that with. And what we did was we took it apart, took the gear wheels out, put them on this back axle, uh, electric motor and that's one of the ones I've used before which is why it's got those nice little magnets on the end of wires for connecting to batteries. Uh, that originally would have come out of a vibrating toothbrush or something similar. Um, CDs for wheels. Back axle in this case was actually an old bicycle spoke. And the front axle is a barbecue skewer, drinking straw to hold it in place, drinking straw to hold it in place, a bit of clear plastic, that's the actual body, and just for fun I've hot glued the pig back on top of it. It's empty, <laughs> just put it, put it on there for effect. So there you go, bargain store project, and I've no idea what number, 20 something I think, I'll put a number on the video.